All right, a couple of global variable challenges here. The first one, keep track of what level the player's on. Level one, level two, level three. So first thing, let's go to our global object. Let's go into our variables that we've already been adding in here. And let's just sneak in uh, one in order here. Let's just call it level, global.level equals one. Okay, nice global variable, can be used anywhere in the program. Now we want to change this whenever the player hits the door and goes to the next room. So player collides with door. A little bit of code's already there. By the way, this is the little if there's a next room, go to the next room code. Now before we go to the next room, so if there's a room that exists that comes afterwards, let's global.level equals global dot level plus one and hit a little okay and let's go to our draw object and draw this out I'm gonna draw this one a little lower level okay and it should be working nicely just get that a little longer for you okay so just a draw text and draw out our global level variable now if all goes well we're on level one hit the door goes up and nice so you'll see that these global variables, they're good for certain tasks, right? They're good for those global type of variable changes you want to make, right? That aren't really owned by a player, but more or less owned by the game. Okay, the second challenge I wanted you to do here was keep track of the ghost hits. So let's sort of keep track of this one here. Let's go back to global. Same sort of idea. So we'll make a global variable. Ghost hits, set it to zero. Every time a ghost gets hit by the laser, I can sneak in a little line first here. Global dot ghost hits is global dot ghost hits plus one. If you're wondering why I made it the first line, you don't have to. I usually like to leave the destroying to the end and the effects to the end and do any code code with variables at the beginning. But that's just personal preference. So let's just add in one. And our draw object. I'll just do a little copy and paste here to make this one fast. 60 ghost hits global dot ghost hits give it a check now the nice thing here good we go and again, the nice thing is there's these just continue with us for the entire game. Perfect. The last part of this challenge was when you've detected that the player has hit five ghosts, then the players earn this big power of being able to fire their lasers faster at a speed of 12. And so this isn't too bad to do here. This is a good example of what globals can do for you. So let's make a new global variable. Now, this one involves the speed of the laser. So I'll sneak it up here. Global laser speed. Now, normally, I think I have the laser speed. I don't know what I have it at. Maybe it's at 6. And I'm going to go to where the player actually fires a laser, and I'm going to substitute this in for where the normal number is. So laser speed. 
player, spacebar. I was close. It was an eight, but right idea. Global dot laser speed. So it's set at six. All the lasers will fire out at six. Okay, just to test if that's working. Okay, whenever you replace stuff, it doesn't take you very long. Do a quick check. Okay, looks good. Okay, there was the change. Now what we want to do is we want to take this variable. Anytime you change it, any laser that's going to be made is going to have that speed assigned to it. So it's a nice easy way to make some little power-up type effects. So where do we know if we have ghost hits? There's really two places we could check. You could constantly be checking in the step event. And if it's five, you could switch it. Another place, which is a little more logical, is when the ghost is hit by the laser. That's really the only time you have to check if five of them have been hit. So it's good. We can just sneak an if statement right under here. We just increased the ghost hits, and now we can ask a quick question. Hey, has this thing reached five? And if it has reached five, global dot laser speed equals 12. Okay. Once that happens the one time, boom, that's it now. All lasers are going to be firing at 12. Let's give it a go. All right, there's three down, four, five. Now you can see the lasers are already going way faster. Doesn't mean it helps me very much, but there you go. Okay, so it looks like those three mods are working. Just a little final additional note here. This makes it so the next laser that's fired is going to be at a speed of 12. If you wanted to make any laser on the screen that's currently already moving also instantly jump to 12, you could do a line like this with object laser speed equals global dot laser speed. Now what that does is when you actually use with object laser this makes every single laser on the screen run that code. So instantly their speed jumps up too rather than having to wait for a laser to be created and be given a speed of 12. So again that's just a little optional extra there We'll be talking about this idea and some other lessons. All right, hopefully you got those on your own as usual. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson and learn some more good stuff. Thanks for watching.